everybody, it's been a minute since I've uploaded any videos, but I'm back with a couple of exercises that you can do for your holiday break. These are great if you're leaving town to visit family or if you just can't get to a practice space. The first one is dealing with your shoulder mobility and the second one is with your plow form. As a warm up for the first exercise, we're gonna do shoulder figure eights and just taking our alternate shoulders back and forth. This is an exercise in and of itself, but it's a great warm up for the exercise I'm going to show you. So for this, I want you to take your shoulder, take it underneath and then back up and around, underneath and back up and around. And when you're doing this in reality, you wanna to try to keep your head centered as much as possible. A little bit of motion is okay, but really what you're doing is you're working on compressing your shoulder and expanding it back out. This first exercise is something you can do with just a door. It's hard to record with a door, so I've got this uh, squat rack to help with it. So imagine you're standing in the doorway and this is the door frame. What you want to do is you want to get nice and close, right? This is not an exercise you do from far away. And you get down into your derby stance and you touch here. And if possible, you want to leave, again, your head as much as possible and work down here, boom, boom, and touch. You can do four corners, you can do a cross, and the idea is to make it faster to move back and forth around your opponent. First, you wanna think about where your weight is. You need to have all of your weight on your back leg, so you wanna make sure that you can lift your front leg up and down. So what you do is you start centered, Shift your weight, bring your foot in, touch your toe out, make sure you can still lift it up, right? It's on your back leg, and then turn your heel out. So you're plowing into your outside edge or your inside edge, depending on which one you do. So to do this as an ongoing thing, you can practice walking through. This helps with learning how to swap legs, or you can do it with a shuffle, which uh, helps you learn how to move forward while still staying in plow stance. So again, start, Shoulder width, bring your foot in, that's gonna plow, so your weight shifts onto that leg, go out, turn. For the walk, you then shift your leg, your weight to that other leg, go out, turn. And you wanna make sure that you're not reaching too far. Shift your weight, boom, turn. Weight, shift, turn. The other side of it is imagine that I've got a partner on the side of me, but they're being driven forward, and I don't want to switch my feet in order to move forward. Instead of just rolling, you can actually walk through it. So I'm already in this plow stance, so right? Centered, foot, toe, turn. Imagine a brace, right? It doesn't have to have a brace. But you want to think about shifting your weight to your front foot, step, 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 step. And that will let you move forward to recenter yourself with your partner. There are two common issues with this plow step. The first one is hip creep. Many times when people are doing this, they want to reach too far because they think that pushing hard and pushing out big is gonna make their plow stronger. What it does, if you can tell, is it takes my hip forward instead. This means that I cannot sink fully into my back leg and I can't use this leg as a shock absorber by keeping the knee bent and lively. So instead, if you find yourself here, what I want you to do is have an idea, aha! And you push hard. Right? And if you push hard, it's gonna hurt your finger. So you wanna let your hip go back. And you should feel very hard. You should feel a lot of pressure on your back hip in this way, right? My leg is too far out now. Pick it up, make sure I have my balance, put it down. That's the proper range. The second problem is that people do keep their legs straight, right? And by keeping your legs straight, you make sure that, or you don't let yourself uh, take any weight into your plow, right? And then, so you can't do that shuffle step forward. So instead, you need to make sure that you're staying tight and in your power box. Here. So I'm expressing power down and through. That's it for these two exercises. Thank you for stopping by, and thanks to Iron Octopus Fitness for organizing Escape Miss. I hope you have a, a wonderful 2019. I hope 2020 is even better. Hopefully, I also put out some more videos.